Norman Wissock Spalding, Bare Bones Radio Broadcasting. Oh, phooey, I wanted to do something first. Let me get this out real quick. Then we'll get out and get out more. I want to say this very quick. I'm a radio broadcaster, and you're going to get nailed with this. Now, listen. The bicycle is a piece of momentum. So is the automobile. Now, so is the bus. Wouldn't it be horrible to have a bus driver job? knowing that there's idiots running around your huge bus that you can't see them all the time, and they're dumb enough to get under the wheels. It'd be a horrifying job, because there's morons running around the bus all the time. They're stupid. They're just the average human that doesn't think. Moron. And I'll tell you they're dangerous, and they'll get under the wheels of that bus, and you'll get blamed. Oh, it wasn't safe. Idiot. When the right-of-way sign comes on, the Pavlog that says, everyone has to obey the rules. Oh, shut up. Keep talking. You're talking about momentum. When you enter the crosswalk, for Christ's sake, look around. Don't just say, well, I got the walk sign. Here we go. Dumbass. Don't do it. And everyone needs well aware of that. And Department of Motor Vehicles, for not making that a great big point, is an asshole. Especially if you get a DMV certificate, you have to cross the crosswalk ten times to get it. Everyone does. With with people baiting you and trying to get you to hit them. With a guy giving you the test, hits a clicker. When you get there, somebody walks out in front of you just to make sure you're going to know what to do. And you're very conscious of that going on. And you respect that a lot. Punk. The only slow momentum respected is foot traffic. After that bicycle, you stay the same hell out of the way. You are a slow momentum. The car is going, and you're going, dum, dum, dum. at best. At best, the bicycle is going, dum, dum. and the car is going, dum. with a bike, out of the way, and stay alive. The slower momentum yields to the faster momentum. Whoever stuck that bike lane in the middle of all that momentum is an idiot. And then told the individual, now you have the right to be there. No, you don't. That slow momentum does not have the right to be out there in the middle of fast momentum. No, you don't. That's why bicycles and tra foot traffic is not allowed on a freeway. The momentums are too different. You're on foot, get the hell off the road. That traffic's moving too fast to be aware of you. Dummy, now you are aware of them. Do you understand me? Or you will be respectful of those kind of things and every way you set up every system. Got it. Move. And DMV needs run out of town for putting that bike lane where it is, it's highway transportation, whoever did it, those employees and that mindset, fire them. Move. And the bicycle stays alive by staying out of the way. Yesterday or the day before, some gal got right turn of a semi. What are you doing there? I have the right to be here. No, you don't. Nope. I wonder if the truck had a right turn signal on. I don't know. But see, if you're in the right beside the right-hand side of a semi, for God's sake, no, you are in a death position. The driver can't see you. Get the hell out of there. Move. And never be there again. I'm just sitting in traffic next to a truck. No, you're not. You're a dumbass. And whoever told your head that you're allowed to do that is an idiot, bigger idiot than you. Mm -hmm. Now, that makes sense? Or if it don't, get off the road because you're not allowed to be there. Because only that makes sense. And what you're doing doesn't make sense, and that's why you're dead, and somebody's going to get charged with something. Oh, bullshit. Your parents ought to be charged for bringing you alive, that you're that goddamn dumb. Not the guy who killed you. He did the world a favor. Now let's go get your parents. For setting that poor truck driver up, and then trapping him with your kid. Why'd you do it? That's what we'll ask your parents. Dummy. And we'll talk to you at your maker's dream chamber there. And we'll have some more conversations about you when we find you in the Lord's dream chamber. What about that? Dummy.
That's how we handle things.